Hey, Brian Joe here. Today I'm reviewing the Omni 40C Plus. First of all, a disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company Omni Charge and they call this an all-in-one power solution. I'm just going to call this a two-in-one USB hub and laptop charger because it has many USB ports, SD card reader, HDMI, and even a barrel port. The battery capacity is 142 watt hour or 38,400 milliamp hour. By the way, if this OLED display is flickering, it's due to my camera settings. My eyes actually cannot see the flickering. In this review, I'm going to present to you my findings so that you can decide whether this is worth the money because this is quite pricey at US $399. It includes one year warranty and there is free shipping within USA but I'm not sure about free shipping elsewhere. As usual, let me give you the bottom line up front very quickly. This is a really powerful charger. The battery capacity is 142 watt hour or 38,400 milliamp hour. So this can charge your laptop for a very long time and there are many USB ports and because this charger can be used as a USB hub or dock, it's actually quite versatile. This USB-C port can deliver 100 watt charging. This two can deliver 30 watt each and this two USB-A can deliver 18 watt each. The total combined output is 150 watt. On the other side, there is a USB 3 SD card reader full-size HDMI out version 1.4 and unfortunately this can only support 4K 30Hz not 60Hz there is another USB-C port here for charging and this barrel port which you can configure for different voltages this design also lets you use the charger as a laptop stand so I've been testing this for about a week now with multiple devices and this product works really well. This is actually designed in my opinion for laptop users because it supports 100 watt charging and the extra large battery capacity is for people who do need that extra large battery capacity and this is said to be TSA approved so it is possible to bring this up on a plane as your carry-on luggage but do check with your airline first okay downsides these two USB-C ports for some reason only have USB 2 transfer speeds and these two USB-A ports have USB 3 transfer speeds the weight of 1 kg and 75 5 grams is heavy. This charger supports 90 watt charging into the charger. And one noticeable downside is if you charge this for an extended period of time, the charger can overheat. When overheating happens, there will be an alert icon here and charging will stop automatically. What this means in real life is if you want to charge this from 0 to 100%, which is going to take some time because the battery capacity is so huge, chances are you may have to charge this in two separate sessions. Charge it to the extent where it overheats and it will stop charging wait for it to cool down and after it's cool charge it again up to 100 percent when you look at a product like this i believe you should be able to tell instantly whether you need something like this or whether this can suit your workflow now if i'm not wrong i don't think there are many competing products out there that has the same feature set as this which is a high speed charging multi-device charger that can also work as a USB hub. So that's the bottom line. And now let's take a look at the items included with the purchase. Let's take a look at the packaging box first. These are all the ports with the transfer speeds and charging speeds which I will go through later. And this is how many times this charger can charge the various devices. So in the box you will find this hard carrying case for the charger and in a separate small box there is this little pouch with interchangeable power plugs. So this looks water resistant to me as in it's designed to keep out 
keep out water so that's the charger this is a one meter long USB-C to USB-C cable that supports 240 watt charging this does not transmit data or video the company listed a 65 watt GAN charger on the product page from what I can see, this is a 57 watt charger and the ports you get here are USB-A and USB-C This charger can be charged at 90 watt so if you use a 57 watt charger it's going to take more time compared to using a 100 watt charger to charge this This is a pretty nice hard case that provides good protection for the charger By the way, if you want to bring this up on a plane do check with your airline just in case and this is the user manual which I highly recommend you read first before you use the charger because there are many features and you really will want to know what this charger is capable of in order to take advantage of all those features let's take a closer look at this design the exterior is rubberized and there is this matte texture and it feels really good to hold in hand the grip is excellent here's a close-up on the texture and we have the power specifications here this triangular design looks nice when you use this as a laptop stand it props up the laptop by about 7 centimeters or close to 3 inches the weight of this charger is 1 kg and 75 grams which is heavy so unless you need the extra battery capacity or the ports I don't think it makes sense to buy such a big and heavy charger when there are other smaller more compact laptop chargers around so one key selling feature of this charger is this can be used as a USB hub another key selling feature for me is this supports pass-through charging so when you use this to charge your laptop you can also connect this to a power source to charge this charger while charging your laptop let's look at the ports and buttons on this side so that's the power button and if you press twice you can go into the manual and these are all the different options that you can adjust so if you press once you go deeper into the manual and here you can adjust the voltage for the barrel port behind for charging and discharging so let me just press oops let me just go out okay only HDMI will enable or disable HDMI so if you choose to enable HDMI so if this works then this will not work so there will be no charging if this does not work then charging is enabled so let's just disable it for now you can choose to change how much time it takes for the screen to power off automatically and you can do that for powering down the charger as well you can choose to show the temperature in degrees celsius or fahrenheit you can choose to enable the button light i think the contrast here is pretty good so the button light is not necessary you can choose to show the time remaining the battery life remaining on this display which is an OLED display you can choose the language that's factory reset about and exit let's see what info you can get from this display so that's the battery life remaining in terms of hours and minutes and depending on the devices that are connected to this charger the number will update automatically depending on the power output to those devices and this is the battery life percentage and there will be several icons here so now this is being used for charging it shows USB and if you press this button it will switch to the hub mode where you can use this as a hub and all these little icons and numbers here are for the charging speed so this one zero watt is the charging speed into the charger uh, from the front and from the back and this 
here at the bottom left is the charging speed out so uh, when you're charging a laptop for example this can increase and this number is a combination of the charging speed for all this depending on how many parts you use and this is the temperature which is now 31 degrees I noticed this charger will show the overheating alert whenever the temperature is above 42 degrees Celsius for the ports there are two USB type A with USB 3 transfer speed and each will support 18 watt charging there are three USB-C ports this one in the middle has USB 3 transfer speed and supports 100 watt charging to devices and 90 watt charging to the charger so this will connect to the computer and these two USB-C ports have USB 2 transfer speed for some reason and they each support 30 watt charging now if you use all the ports the combined total power output is 150 let's connect a laptop to this charger so at the bottom left you will see the wattage output so now it's going up to 40 and the battery life for the charger will update depending on the speed uh, depending on the charging speed so now let me connect another laptop to this port here so the total output has increased from 40 watt to about 55 54 watt and you can also see the remaining battery life has also updated depending on the charging speed i happen to have a laptop that requires at least 70 watt for charging so when i use a 65 watt charger to charge this it's not going to work since this charger can output 100 watt this can work with most laptops on the other side we have a 5.5 millimeter barrel port that supports power in 90 watt and power out 100 watt and this usb c supports 90 watt in and 100 watt out this full-size hdmi supports 4k 30 hertz out and this is a usb 3 sd card reader if you want to use this charger as a usb hub there is one important thing you need to know the ports on both sides actually do not work together as a whole more specifically if you connect your laptop to this side where the display is you can use the usb c and usb a ports for file transfer but you will not be able to use the HDMI port and the SD card reader on the other side because your computer is connected to this side now if you connect your laptop to the other side now you can use the HDMI and SD card reader but you will not be able to use the USB-C and USB-A ports from the other side so notice how the laptop is connected to this side with the HDMI and the HDMI is working now and as mentioned earlier the downside here is this is just 4k 30 Hertz it's not 4k 60 Hertz it is possible to use all the ports with your laptop in the settings you have to remember to choose the only HDMI mode you have to enable this to disable power to USB-C4 you just have to connect this side to your laptop and you have to connect this side as well to your laptop you have to remember to disable power to USB-C4 from the HDMI side otherwise when these two ports are connected to the laptop these two ports are going to oversupply power to your laptop which obviously is not good it is possible to charge your devices from both sides of the charger for example right now i'm charging this phone from the left side and this laptop from the other side now if you do this you will not get pass through charging because this barrel port here will be disabled now this USB-C and barrel port they share the same circuitry so only one port can be used to charge and be charged at one time so if you want to 
do this, uh, there is no pass through charging. All right, I believe I have covered almost all the features for this charger. The only thing I wasn't able to test is the barrel port because I don't have the equipment or device or the charger to test that. All right, to conclude, if you have this charger with you outdoors, you don't have to worry about running out of power because 142 watt hour or 38,000 mAh is a lot of battery capacity. But huge battery capacity alone is not the selling point. The selling point here is you get the huge battery capacity and you can also use this as a USB hub. Now this product works well, but there are some limitations and downsides as mentioned. For example, for some reason the USB-C ports have only USB 2 transfer speeds. HDMI can only output 4K 30Hz, not 60Hz, and it is difficult to charge this from 0% to 100% with just one single charging session due to overheating. But the overheating thing is actually a safety mechanism, uh, which is good in a way because you don't really want your battery to overheat. So yes, this is quite a pricey charger, but if you do need the features provided by this charger, you now have the option to purchase this. And if you are interested by this, you can check out the links that I have for you in the video description below. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is useful. See you guys again. Bye.